Now I have made so many cash envelopes in my career. And if you don't know, I've had an Etsy store that sells budgeting related items for about two years now. We just celebrated our 20th thousand sale. And if I could tell you how many of those sales actually were cash envelopes, I mean, Bestie, I think I've made about 50,000 cash envelopes at this point. So who better to teach you how to make cash envelopes? Now I was looking over on my YouTube analytics the other day and shorts are popping off on YouTube at the moment. And I looked and my highest performing short at 9.4 thousand views is how to make a cash envelope. Now in that video, I only showed you how to make one type of cash envelope. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make five different types of cash envelope. So here they are, they're all pink of course. I mean, why would they be any other color? These cash envelopes have varying levels of skill level required. So definitely stick through. And what I've done is I've timestamped each and every single type of cash envelope in the timestamps down below. We're gonna start with expert and we're gonna work our way all the way down to the easiest type of one to do. So without further ado, Bestie, let's go ahead and let's get making some cash envelopes. Okay, so let's start off with her. This has been printed at home. So basically what I have are these uh, squares. So we're gonna make a laminated one with the strip. We're gonna make a laminated one with vinyl and we're gonna make a zipper one out of all of this. Let me show you the dimensions. It is 17 centimeters long by nine centimeters high. I'm gonna cut these out. You can just use scissors, but I'm gonna use this bad boy because it's much quicker for me, but scissors are absolutely fine. So the first envelope we're gonna make is the laminated one with the strip. So we're gonna grab this one here and let's go. So what we got now is this, and we've got it there ready to go. What we've also got is this over here. So this is a strip, a category strip that I printed out earlier and cut it out. So the dimensions for this is 17 centimeters, the same width as the other one, but the height is two centimeters. So what we're intending to do is have a cash envelope that looks like that. But there's a couple steps that we need to do first. So I've got this laminating sheet and I'll show you it up close. It's uh, a thick 250 micron laminating sheet that is cut in half and I've got the sealed edge there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in here. So if we just laminated that as it is, it would just be encased inside this laminating sheet. But what we're trying to do is make a pocket. What I've got here is I've got a thinner laminating sheet and she looks a bit like that. She's a thinner laminating sheet and she's cut to the same dimensions as the cash envelope, but we only want one half of it. So as you can see, or you may be able to feel, one side is shiny and one side is sort of tacky. This tacky side has a decent on it and what we're trying to do is marry this adhesive side to the inside of this adhesive side so we're only using one and what we're going to do is we're going to put the tacky side up to attach to this tacky side and we're going to float it in over and marry it to the same dimensions. Now, while it's still open, what we wanna do is sandwich this strip in between these two sheets. And what we should have is a pocket behind it because this shiny side will not attach to anything. So we'll have paper to shiny side, this adhesive will stick to the back side of this, and then these two will stick together. So if we put this in the middle, here, line her up as so, and close that in, then that will make an envelope there ready to laminate. So we're hoping to leave maybe about two centimeters worth of space at the bottom so that we can hole punch it, and this bit is gonna get cut open. So I'll show you the laminating process, then I'll show you how we make it into an envelope. Okay, so we're here at the laminate and we're gonna start by laminating this envelope here. So what we've got is this one here and we're gonna put her inside this. So this here, this is a laminating carrier pouch. And I put everything in these because it protects them and it protects the laminator. And as you can see, I've got a pretty heavy duty laminator. Uh, it's a Swordfish Armored 660 and I'll link her in the description. But I don't want, she was very expensive, so I don't want to ruin her. So we're just gonna shove her through and I'll show you what it looks like. So here she is, there she's going through.
Okay, so taking her out of the pouch here, you can see this is what it looks like. So it's completely encapsulated, it's laminated. So for those of you who already do make cash envelopes and you're wondering how to make your envelopes thin and flat, you need to spend a bit of money on a laminator. So that's her done. What we need to go ahead and do now is cut her out. Okay, so we're here at the guillotine and we're gonna get ready to cut these. So what I have is a just a normal Amazon Basics guillotine. And as you can see, I've adapted it by putting a bit of washi tape. You can do that very, very easily by just lifting up this. And I put washi tape there for a specific reason. I'll explain why in a sec. So starting off with this envelope, what we wanna first do is put this envelope in here and we're gonna line up the top edge with what it's gonna cut. And what we wanna do is to cut this here like that so that what we have is something that looks like that and the reason why is because that is our opening so now we can put our cash in there really really easily obviously we've got to subtract from here but that's what it looks like and as you can see the shiny side of the laminate hasn't stuck to the paper on the inside but it has here so that's exactly what we're after and now we have this which is encapsulated it's laminated in the middle so the it's not going to move so I'm going to move this up here and and this is where that washi tape comes in. So I butt it up to that line and cut it there. So what I give is this much and the distance there, let's get a ruler out, is about five millimeters. So, oh, maybe it's more, it's about eight. So eight I find is what withstands lots of use. So if you look at that, it's a bit more strong. So we do that along this side as well. And then we want to leave about two centimeters at the bottom and the reason why is here so if we look at this here i line it up to this line here and have that so this is the bit that's going to get cut so not cut so it's going to get punched it's one and a half centimeters i'm giving really bad measurements in this but yeah that's essentially the envelope so last thing we need to do is go ahead and hole punch this so we're at the finishing touches stage here and what i have is a hole punch it's not like the hole punch that you might recognize because if you can see through here it's actually got six holes uh, and it looks like this on the back here's the settings that i use and the the reason why is because if you look at a standard binder, when you open them up, you've got six holes. So we want it to fit in there. Let's uh, go ahead and hole punch this. So what I do is I introduce my hole punch, I put it in and I literally line it up to where I want the holes and I punch it. And then what you have is this here. So she looks cute. Let's see what she looks like inside the binder there she fits in perfectly so she's ready for money like look at that doesn't that look great the second envelope we're going to make is the normal laminated one without the strip and we're going to put vinyl on it so let's grab this one here and let's get cracking so back here we've got this little bit here and what we are doing is we're following the same process as pretty much the last one so let me get out the sheet here and what we're trying to do is put this in and we're going to put that in there and again what we want to do is make that small envelope but we're not putting the strip in it so it makes it a bit more makes a bit more sense now so we're putting this in we're putting the uh, tacky adhesive side to attach to that and then we're keeping the shiny side faced onto the paper and what we're doing is we're just making an envelope here without uh putting the strip in it so that's what it looks like let's laminate it and then cut it open so i can show you how it works so we're back at the laminator and we're gonna laminate this bad boy here. So again, we're putting her into this pouch here. Doesn't really matter if you put a sealed side either way because she's inside the carrier over there. So she's gonna go through now and I'll show you what she looks like when she comes out. Okay, so we've got her out and as you can see, she looks the same as the previous one. She just doesn't have the strip and you can see that it's smooth on the top and that there's a little air bubble around and that's what you're after. So she's lovely and rigid now that all the adhesive has melted. But I'm going to show you how the pocket works and everything like that. So let's go ahead and cut her out now. 
So here we are back at the guillotine with this envelope here, and we're gonna follow the same process. So we're gonna line this up to the very top, do a line, and that is gonna make our pocket. So now we've just got a clear window there with no strip in it. So that's gonna make sense. Let's do these two edges here, line it up to there. So that's about eight mil, and then one and a half centimeters here is that one there. So that there is now, an envelope and look how nice that looks okay finishing touches for number two here's what she looks like right now we need to get some hole punches in her so let's introduce her again let's punch her and there she is she's got her holes in her now but we don't know what category it is so what you can either do is use a bit of sharpie or something like that but what i've done is i've cut my logo out because i didn't know what category to do i've cut my logo out on vinyl and i'll show you how i apply that so if you've got a cricket you can do that or there are loads of sellers including myself on etsy that sell vinyl labels just like this so you can just get like a category like groceries or whatever and what I'm doing is I'm just putting this on here this isn't probably isn't the best one to show but here she is there's that there and then we peel her off and as you can see she's on there but you can still fit your money and it looks like that like you can see it in between like that looks really nice especially if you've got like a smaller one or something like that but that's how the second version the clear window version looks the third envelope we're going to make is the zipper and we're going to use this bottom one here and we're just going to put this in the zipper and i'll show you how that works so this one here is probably the shortest one. We've got this one here that we're using as a zipper. And what we're gonna grab is a zipper envelope. So if you don't have any of these, uh, there are loads of different stores that sell them, loads of Etsy stores. Sometimes when you buy a binder off Amazon, it comes with a load of these already. I've already applied some vinyl on the front uh, because that's what I do. And here's what it looks like. So all you do is just pop it in. It can be a bit tight over that zipper there. And you just pop her in and that's what she looks like. So yeah, that, that's literally all it is to it. Uh, I haven't poked through the hole, so I won't show you, well, I will show, I'll show you what it looks like in the binder. She fits perfectly. You just need to poke those holes through it, and I recommend like a biro or something like that to do that with it. But that's what this zipper envelope looks like, Bestie. So the fourth type of envelope, we're actually using this one. So this has got a square on it and it is double the size. So let me show you this. So it is double the size of what we normally had. So it was 17 by nine. This is now 17 by 18. So I'm gonna cut this one out. And rather than using those, I'm gonna make it a bit easier on myself and I'm gonna cut them out with a pair of scissors. So here we are with this square and what we're actually going to do is we're going to fold it in half and we're going to fold it along the 17 edge if that makes sense. So we want one edge to still be 17 centimeters and then this nine because that now makes a pocket for that's going to be exactly the same size as what we had. So if we then go back and compare, it's the exact same size as the first and second envelope. If we folded it along this edge, it would be too wide. It would be 18 centimeters. So it'd be a really, really wide envelope. So we've got this now and all we need to do is laminate. But what we can do before we do that is go ahead and write our category on there, but we could just sharpie it over the top. So I'm going to do it blank, but uh, yeah, it's time to go ahead and laminate this bad boy okay so we're laminating this now and this bad boy here uh she is just going in so we don't need to make any funny pockets or anything like this because this already is a pocket so what we're hoping to do is to put it into a sheet so that we can glue or shut these sides together so that this is the pocket here and then we'll have a bit of like plastic around it to make it a bit stronger essentially so what we're going to do is we're going to put this in but we're going to put the open side at the top because it makes sense for us because of the way we've been doing all the previous ones right so we're putting her in like that and squashing her down as much as possible and then 
that she's ready to go ahead and laminate. So let's go ahead and laminate her now. Okay, so finally we're gonna laminate this one. It doesn't really matter which way round you get this. Um, so I'm gonna put her in the carrier pouch because she's a bit thicker than the other. So normally um, you'd just print these on printer paper or whatever, but I've used 160 GSM paper. So because of that, she's gonna be a bit thicker. My laminators can cope with that, but others might not be able to. So if you're looking to do an envelope this way, you might want to consider thinner paper um, for sure. Okay, so taking her out, here's what she is. She looks almost exactly the same as the previous one. So let's cut her open with the guillotine and let's see what she looks like. We're at the guillotine again and we've got this one here. So this is the one that we folded over. So let's follow exactly the same process. Let's cut that off the top. Let's do the two sides really quickly. And then let's do the bottom here. So it's essentially going to look the same as envelope number two. However, here is your window here. So you don't have a clear window anymore. Your money just goes in here. So we've got the same real estate. We've got the same room. And that's all it is. So these do flare out very slightly. And they flare out more if you've just laminated them. Uh, because the the laminate like withholds some of the heat a little bit but if you let it cool down it probably won't do that as much but yeah that's essentially what they look like so we just need to punch this the same as the previous ones and then it's done there's not really much we need to do to this one so we're gonna punch her there and just to show you this is what it looks like inside the binder so she looks absolutely stunning right but we don't have a category on there. So we could have wrote the category on there uh, before we laminated and we could put vinyl on there, but what we could also do is use a Sharpie. So we could just write groceries on here. It doesn't look like amazing, but we can wipe it off. So if you've got envelopes that you only use for like a little bit of time or something like that, this can be really, really handy because we can use nail varnish remover or acetone or alcohol ink, not alcohol ink, alcohol, to remove this and start again with a different one. We could also even put a category on the back and we could stuff two different things in there. So that's what that looks like. And do you know what? I like her. So the final type of cash envelope is this one here. So this one here I have free on my Google Drive and I've shared it before, but I'll share it in the video description. And all you need to do is cut this one out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this one out and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so once you've cut it out, what you should have left is something like this. And as you can see, there are fold lines along here. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and flip it over and fold all of this on the lines that are dotted. And here is what you have. So obviously I've not folded this massively precisely, but if you had a bit of time and you wanted to make it a bit nicer, you definitely could do that. So what we need to do now is to put a little bit of glue down these sides and we could also hole punch it as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I couldn't find any glue, but I did find some tape. So I'm just gonna pop some tape here for now, just to hold it in place. And then I'll just get like a Pritt stick or a uh, Elmer's glue marker and it's absolutely fine. Then what I'll do is I'll use this. And as you can see, I'm using the same hole punch with six holes in it. And I'm just gonna mark it somewhere in the middle there and punch it. And there it is ready to go in a binder. So she does fit. She does look really, really cute. And if you want something inexpensive that you can print off from home, having all of these can be really handy. So yeah, that's what she looks like. And just imagine what a lot of them would look like. You could even go a step further and laminate it before you make it. It might make it a bit more rigid, but it also make it tougher to use. And you might want to put a bit of tape down because the one, the template that I offer has a bit of a bigger lip, but yeah, that's that. Hi guys, guys, and all bypass. Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are gonna comment, please use this emoji. Now, if you are waiting for the end of the video for some top tips, who am I to deny you this right? So my number one tip 
for making cash envelopes is to select the correct thickness of laminating sheets. So I use two types. I use 250 GSM for what we do on the outside, and then I use 150 GSM for on the inside. Now, when you make a decision like that, you are making a decision about the type of laminator that you use. So if you're using 160 GSM paper, thick laminating sheets, and then you're doubling it up as well, you are going to ruin normal laminators very, very quickly. The normal laminator I'd recommend is irrelevant because if you're following that recommendation of using very nice laminating pouches you are going to destroy that laminator so quickly and trust me I have sent more laminators to landfill than I care to mention. So what I use is two Swordfish Armoured 330 and they are linked in the bottom. They are a bit pricey but they come out perfect almost every time. So if you're using good quality ingredients and a good quality way to make them you're going to be absolutely fine. The other thing I'd say is pay attention to the quality of the paper. If you're just using copier paper and then you want to print on both sides it can get uh, a bit see-through. So I'd recommend recommend going no thicker than 160 GSM but no thinner than 120 because if you get any shorter or thinner than that paper weight uh, it's gonna not look great and just have fun make some crazy creations and have a ton of fun bestie I truly hope you've enjoyed today's sort of tutorial sort of like how to sort of thing. Uh, I'd like to make more and if there's anything else you'd like to see how I make please let me know in the comments down below. That's all we have for today uh, but until the next video I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week and have a wonderful budget. Always remember don't trust Ira. And Bessie I'm going to link that original short down there if I can link shorts. If not it's going to be something completely different and I'm a completely liar but if you haven't seen that short check it out over here Bestie. <laughs>